We're going to take you out on the water now a little bit for a little more boating. And at the helm is Stuart Hayam. When he revs up his engine, it often means that something is being done to fight cancer. You'll meet him now as I continue my series on Someone You Should Know, part of Channel 2's ongoing Here's to You project. Our salute to the special people in our area. Eleven years ago, Stuart Hayam never thought he'd be here today, guiding his powerboat, the Recovery, across the waters of Long Island's Manhasset Bay. I was sick. I had a tumor in my spleen in 1979. Um, I had six chemotherapy treatments after surgery. Today, Stuart is one of the country's most prominent offshore powerboat racers. He guides the recovery at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour in races around the country. He holds the world record for speedboating around Long Island. And he donates all his winnings to the cause of cancer research. But it's not just money Stuart wants to give. There were three objectives that we have in my, had in mind and still have in mind. One of them is to raise money for cancer research. Uh, the second objective, which really I think in the long run has been, been the most important, um, has been to give hope to people, um, who, who, some of whom are in a similar position, and to show, to show in certain, certain cases, and I think hopefully in many cases, that you can be sick with that disease, and that there is, uh, in many cases, an opportunity to recover, to get better. And the third objective of the boat was to win some races, and we've been pretty successful at that also. Back in 1979, Long Islander Stuart Hame was diagnosed with cancer. But his is not a story with a sad ending. It's one of hope and inspiration. You see, for Stuart Hame, recovery is not just a healing process. Recovery keeps him afloat. Where do you go when your body betrays you? It took me a few minutes to realize what they were trying to say. What did cancer do to me and my family? I think that, that um, it was terribly disruptive. When I was bent over um, once, this pudgy little, it's my favorite story in the world, this pudgy little arm came around me and hugged me and says, don't worry, Daddy, you'll get better. Yeah, if I just took the seatbelts, I pulled them as tight as they could because I knew it was going to be an all-or-nothing ride. 